follower and subscriber count has been going up lately so thank you to all the new subs all the new followers thank you to um i robbed uh you are a member of the website and members do get one free request a day so i got you full throttle coming up after this story don't trip um he said i need to see these gifts again <laughs> nah i don't want to show that one i don't want to show that one the card photo says uh trap guy got all the mixtape cds him and green lantern back in the day were my faves uh, i got you trap um yeah so if you read if you read the the title of this episode it says that uh chris brown saves ray j's life how did Chris Brown save Ray J's life? Why, you ask? Did Chris Brown save Ray J's life? Mike Checkmate, thank you for joining. Please share the stream if you didn't mind. So if you haven't been keeping up with all the Diddy drama, um, there's been, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot to cover. So I can't rehash everything that's been going down with the Diddy drama. But long story short, Diddy got arrested on uh, sex trafficking allegations. Um, and, you know, everybody has been coming out of the woodwork saying what they think about it, including Ray J. Now, Ray J is a polarizing character, right? Like, he has a lot to say about everything, I guess, like we all do. Um, but the things he says and the way he says them are just absolutely wild. Now, he has a new show. He has a new news show it's it's formatted like um a real news show like it looks like a cnn type show i have not watched the full episode of this show to be uh honest with you guys but um i've seen one clip and this clip um and real quick though says yeah he was mixed uh the name uno he's black he i thought he was black he was given like a a black orange county vibes to me like he's from huntington beach is he around huntington beach area Real quick though, he's giving me Huntington Beach vibes. Uh, the re the card photo says Ray J, the new show, Okie Dokie. I'll be giving that a miss. So you say that now, you say that now. The card photos, but let me tell you this: I think one of the best sound bites. I think one of the best sound bites of all time, not of all time, out of 2024, has come from Ray J from his news show, and we don't know so. Um, from his new show. I'm going to play it for you a little bit later. And I think this soundbite is why he needed to get rescued by Chris Brown. But every all of these celebrities were out at this influencer's Halloween party the other night. And um, believe it or not, Diddy's sons, Diddy's three sons rolled up on Ray J and they pressed him. Um, and they, you know, they were upset that uh, about what Ray J had to say about their dad, right? Um, and if my dad was Fullerton, okay, Fullerton, my bad. Um, Fullerton's by Long Beach, though. So is Huntington. I feel like that's a similar area. area. Baby Sosa Trill, thank you for joining. Please share the stream if you wouldn't mind. I spent a lot of time out in Orange County. That's why I had to ask. Um, so yeah, they're at this Halloween party. Diddy's sons roll up. They press Ray J. They surround him. Um, Ray J says, so Ray J actually admitted that this happens um, with WAC 100. You can go look these clips up. I'm not going to show you these clips. You can go look them up yourself. I'm just going to summarize them. Fire emoji. What's good. Thank you for joining. Please share the stream if you wouldn't mind. Um, yeah, the funny Marco Ray J shit is another level. I haven't seen that whole interview yet, but the clips I've seen and showed on this, on this show, you can go watch, um, uh, last week's episode. I, I kind of gave a preview of that interview. It looks ridiculously wild. The card photo says nothing says dad is innocent of being violent, a violent sociopath, like acting like a sociopath. That part, right? Like carrying on his traditions is the best way to prove his innocence. Um, but, but, um, where was that? Oh yeah. So, so they surround Ray J, right? And Ray J has admitted this to WAC 100. You can find the clip of Ray J talking about this to WAC 100. So I'm I'm reporting to you what I heard directly from Ray J's mouth via WAC 100, right? Uh, so Ray J says he was surrounded by like eight people. Diddy only has three sons that we know of. So that means three, three sons, Diddy's three sons and five other people surrounded Ray J and they almost pressed him and it was almost fucking a problem. 
And then Chris Brown comes out of nowhere. I guess Chris Brown was watching in the cut from his car. He was kind of leaning back like this, looking through the window. He said, I'm not going to let it go down like this. And Chris Brown hops out the car and saves Ray J's hands, not, saves Ray J's life. Now, what a lot of people don't know um, is that Re Chris Brown uh, has legendary hands. Legendary hands. If you if you're not if you don't know this, this is this is well known throughout the streets of LA. Chris Brown has legendary hands. So when he gets out, when he gets in the mix, I mean, you see all the ninja flips and shit. He be doing all the karate kicks and all that shit. He be doing. So, I mean, you, I don't know why you would suspect he couldn't implement that in a fight. He's an athlete, pretty much. I look at him almost as more of an athlete than a. <laughs> than a musician, the way he'd be performing. The card photo says, yeah, but his three sons could have been. <laughs> Trap guy says, got to be more careful. Got to be more careful. Uh, the card photo says, ask Rihanna about his legend. Oh, ooh, that's grimy. That's a grimy one. That's cold work. That's cold work. Um, <laughs> and the real, real quick though says, that in Orlando Brown and uh, Funny Marco interview was wild. Orlando is a different one. Yeah, that oosh gosh moosh mosh. That oosh gosh moosh mosh. Hey, but how how long ago was how long ago did Orlando Brown say the oosh gosh moosh mosh? That was like two or three years ago that he got he got the oosh gosh moosh squash from Diddy. Orlando Brown said that years ago. And now he's saying that Ray J is lying. Right? And <laughs> Now, now Orlando Brown says Ray J knows all the secrets, right? He's 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 accusing Ray J of knowing all the secrets, which I don't think that's too far fetched, right? I don't think that that Ray J knowing all the secrets is too far fetched. If I'm gonna be honest with you, because when Ray J did this news show, I'm about to show you guys the clip that I think got Ray J in trouble with Diddy's sons. And when Ray J did this news show, he jumped out the window and he said, nobody wants to speak about Diddy and his depravity. I'm going to hop out the window and I'm going to speak about Diddy's depravity. And he said, if you, if Hollywood wants to be quiet, you guys could be quiet, but I'm not going to be quiet. And then he jumped out the window and he said this. Asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. <laughs> yeah. Every time I see this clip, it blows my mind. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Like, can I can I give the disclaimer that I have been trying, I have been trying to avoid making a joke out of this Diddy situation. I haven't posted none of the baby oil songs and remixes. I haven't indulged in none of the joking shit. I have I have this is the first time I've ever laughed at anything involving this Diddy situation, but this shit is so hilarious. No, Trap God, this is not CNN. Ray J has his own news show called Reality Check, Reality Check with Ray J. This is Ray J's own news show. This is his show. This is his news show. And this was the first episode. And when I seen this clip, he said, Asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. <laughs> Yo, what? Asses are being, t this is, I'm sorry. And I'm adding this. This is going to be a, this is going to be a soundbite forever on CTC radio. I'm so sorry that I have to do this. <laughs> but this is one of the funniest things I've seen all 2024. This is one of the funniest things I've seen all 2024. Smarty YMS1, thank you for joining. Your boy Jay Dizzle, Dilla Bass, thank you for joining. Please share the stream if you wouldn't mind. Real quick though, says they don't call it Johnson and Johnson for nothing. <laughs> so to be fair, it didn't start like this. I just clipped this part out because I wanted I wanted the sound bite. So I only clipped this part out. Um, you got to go watch the full interview. You have to go watch this full segment where he's talking about it. It is so crazy. So he's talking about Diddy in this clip and everything that Diddy has done to young women and young men. And one more time, he says, 
asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. I cannot do it. It is, yo, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm laughing. If any of the victims see this, yo, it is not about Diddy at all. This is just a weird and hilarious thing to say. Why would you say this? Why would you say this, right? So imagine if somebody said this. Well, imagine if somebody said this about your dad. Asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. Imagine somebody says your dad is doing this. Would you not surround him? Would you not surround him? <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's that's a crazy. <laughs> That's a crazy thing to say, yo. That is a crazy thing to say. So, um, yeah, Ray J and Diddy's sons are in, in Series B right now. I'm guessing it's over that clip. We don't know for sure why. We don't know for sure why they're upset. But, I mean, I'm just putting myself in their shoes. If someone said that about my father... In ways that nobody, in way, in ways that nobody can explain. Do you want to know what's crazy to me about this whole thing? Is because it's crazy because Ray J. So Ray J. launches this show, right? Reality Check with Ray J. And then he jumps out the window. FW Young Drip, what's good? Thank you for joining. Please share the stream if you wouldn't mind. Real quick, though, says, uh, with conviction. Did y'all hear his voice? He has so much conviction in his voice. In fact, I'd go as far as to say he has he has the type of conviction that has knowledge behind it, right? Like a little bit of knowledge behind that conviction. Why would you jump out the window, right? You know there are countless pictures of you and this man, Diddy, all across the internet. You you and Diddy at these parties. There are countless pictures of you and Diddy at these parties. So then all of a sudden you jump out the window and you come with this newscast saying that he is one of the worst people in the world and that he <laughs> and that he is asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. You accuse him of taking asses in ways that nobody can explain. This to me just to me, I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know. But this to me is um what is what's the Shakespeare quote? The the lady doth protest too much. Like this is protesting in the loudest way to me. Because like why why would you jump out the window and say this on the first episode of your show when we all know we all have two eyes. We have all seen you hanging out with Diddy over the years. In fact, you told you told WAC 100, and you guys can hear this in the conversation between Ray J and WAC 100. You told WAC 100 to stall them out because you know what I'm saying, and you see them as family. So it's just weird to make this 180 degree turn on someone who we've all seen you treat as a friend. Um, but I will play devil's advocate and say that if um, if asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. <laughs> If that's happening, maybe he's standing up for the victims and and saying something, right? I'll play devil's advocate. That can also be true. Um, but this is just a weird and strange, it's a weird and strange thing to say. It's a weird, I didn't say it. This man said it. This man said, I did not say that. <laughs> but I just, I don't see how that is not, one of the funniest quotes of 2024. He doesn't like the Sanctus. <laughs> that shit is crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, but you tell me if you're in the chat, if you're in the comments, um, do you think Ray J is sincere, is sincere about this accusation? If you were in Diddy's son's shoes, would you have done the same thing? 
and surrounded Diddy and pressed Diddy and been like, yo, um, uh, what you talking about my pops like that for? Would you have done that? I need to know. You feel what I'm saying? Um, meanwhile, let's get into this Rob Dog full throttle. Um, featuring Francis, CTC Radio, the only radio station. <laughs> if you want to pop shit, I'd rather pop bottles. But if you want to take it there, let's take it full throttle. I ain't trying to fuck my whole night up. You straight wild and you wild. Take it there, then we can take it full throttle. are being taken in ways that nobody can explain. Take it full throttle. I ain't trying to fuck my whole night up. You straight wild, then you wild. Take it there, then we can take it full throttle. They have so many things in the building. I'm straight vibing. Dog trying to fuck out, I'm feeling. Let's get live then. Girl, I really love how you feeling. Let's get live when you wild. Take it there, then we can take it full throttle. Smoke. Who want the smoke? All of y'all rappers need to get up and go. Y'all know me, this is not a blog post. If we keep in the wheel, I move silent like a ghost. Yeah, uh. Whoa, sliding for these niggas like a shorty on a pole. Bitches wanna bag another rapper, I said no. When I'm dead, I'm gonna finish, ship me off in gold. Yeah, uh. Niggas be too counterfeit, I'm about to counterfeit. When they gonna hear this shit, cause I don't got that time for it. Dog got me kinda lit, murder how with that kind of grit. You was talking shit back then, so you better not miss. If you gonna be that bitch again, pull that fucking switch again. I'm about to blow the roof, boy, who you talking to? Don't fuck with the dogs, cause niggas need to know that. I don't wanna pop shit, I'd rather pop bottles. But if you wanna take it there, let's take it full throttle. I ain't trying to fuck my whole night up, you straight wild, then you wild. Take it there, then we can take it full throttle. <laughs> Real quick, though, said the full throttle after the drop. It's crazy. Stupid. <laughs> Rob Dog says available now on all platforms. Go get it. This is Rob Dog. No, no, I came to the ceiling like it's tribal. Dog could give a fuck how you feel it. That's on Bible. We wild. Take it there, then we can take it full throttle. Say that like you main that, like you bang that. Zero to a hundred, crack a bottle like it's on it. All these little hating ass trying to fuck up my shit. Dog about to turn the whole spot into a mosh pit. Bad bitch, on my jump in, tell her stop it. Plastic, why you finna act like you pop shit? Drop a million to the church, bless the Lord and drive the danger The only management I need is meant for anger Dog be smoking so much tree, it became a fragrance I can never ever see myself obedient Dog cool, keep feeding me Bad hoes and blue strips I'm on some new shit, I'm about to lose I don't wanna pop shit, I'd rather pop Asses are being taken in ways that nobody can explain Straight wild, then you wild Take it there, then we can take it full throttle We have so many things in the building I'm straight vibing Dog trying to fuck out, I'm feeling Let's get live then Girl, I really love how you feeling Let's get live, but we wild Take it there, then we can take it full throttle Bad hoes and blue strips I'm on some new shit Radio, the only radio station committed to the coast That's Rob Dog and Francis It's called Full Throttle if you like that joint, make sure you add it to your libraries, add it to your playlist. <laughs> Let them know where you heard it first. We also said we're going to go check out um, Uno and Friends at the pod. Um, before we do that, I just want to remind you guys, uh, if you like what we do here, please support. Tap the link in our bio. Tap the link in our description. Visit our website. Get the apparel. The Coast Got Next is available right now. We have hoodies, joggers, t-shirts for men and women, um, and we have more items on the way. Make sure you tap in. Real quick, though, it says diabolical. <laughs> diabolical. Um, favorite episode. <laughs> I'm mad. I'm mad. Yo, let's check out this. Uh, let's check out. Well, I don't know if I want to do this one just yet. 